Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. I found a scenario that I thought looked pretty good and it just so happens someone also requested it, which is really convenient. But, it is called The Sleeper. If I can find it in here with the stupid search function, there it is. And it looks to me like this might just be a Darkest Dungeon, the new expansion, Endless Crystal... What was, what was it called? I don't remember what the expansion was called, but it looks to me like this might be what it's based upon. I think, so let's give it a shot. Important notice, the mechanic of the scenario will require you to upgrade certain traits to unlock more advanced traits, while also rewarding committing on certain approaches. That sounds like the base game, that you unlock things to unlock more things. But okay, I think they're just warning me that there's a bunch of gating mechanisms. Inspired by the permadeath RNG simulator and my favorite game, Darkest Dungeon, a scenario where you play as the sleeper and infect the world with the crystalline corruption. Includes custom symptoms and events. A local man in England has discovered documents of dark astronomy studies left by his ancestor, Wayne June. The content of those documents reveal terrifying yet fascinating information about otherworldly powers. He believed constructing a celestial array would be a magnificent idea to obtain curious ideas, or sorry, items from the outer sphere in order to gain insight on said powers. However, after months and years without any noticeable results, the man has finally run out of patience and given up on waiting. But years later, a meteor with an eerie glow has striked the array. Not struck, but striked. Soon after its arrival, the surrounding of the meteor showed signs of distortion in time and space, while Cyan Crystal manifests around the array. Little did we know, it's only the beginning of madness. Language is not my first language, which... I'm sorry, English... Did I just say language is not my first English, or did I say language is not... I don't know. Apparently English is not my first language either. But, that's perfectly fine. I get it. You actually did pretty good there. So it is a Darkest Dungeon theme, uh, themed scenario, which is what I was hoping for. Kind of reminds me of when the, the Crimson Curse was done, after that uh, expansion was released into Darkest Dungeon. I do think that Darkest Dungeon scenarios have a lot of really good potential. Anything Cthulhu-based, certainly good. All right, looks like we're going for a fungus by default. So metabolic jump, uh, genetic mimic, pterocytic, extreme file, and trans stasis are probably pretty good. Uh, maybe pathostasis would be better, though. So let's go for that instead. Normal difficulty. There is no casual. You're not allowed. The seed of madness. The sleeper has arrived. From the outer sphere, a unique meteor has crashed upon a rural area in the UK. The meteor is, in fact, a living creature with which its existence is beyond human comprehension. Choose your path. Would you turn the world into a crystallized environment, or would you transform every life form into lifeless husks, only to be controlled by you? That sounds like the sort of thing I would like to do, yes. Committing to a path unlocks advanced traits. Alright, starting in the UK. I remember when I first started playing Mega Brutal Scenarios on this channel, and for some reason I got into my head that maybe uh, starting in the UK was actually a really good strategy, because you wouldn't get detected for as long and you'd get around in the world. And I tried to pass that off as a very functional uh, strategy, and it did work, to be fair. But it, nowadays, I just realized it was a really stupid strategy, and I kind of want to go back and redo my Mega Brutal guides for uh, the bacteria, and maybe create one for the virus as well. But, oh well, transmissions. So we start off with the Miller, the poor farmer, who was near the array when the incident happened. Now he has become the first crystallized human. Environment approach, placeholder. Biological approach, placeholder. Seeds of despair. Reminds me of the Princess Bride. The pits of despair. Crystal aberrations started to manifest outside of the array. Increasing the urban infectivity sounds very good if we're going to be in the UK. Vial focusing. More crystalline aberrations are reaching places far away from the domain of the sleeper. Increased urban infectivity and mutation chance. Again, pretty good starting off in the UK. Symptoms. We have crystalline dust. The crystalline shards automatically dissolve into dusts in order to enter life forms. Unlocks more transmission op options. Un upgrade this symptom for more trade. Upgrade? You can upgrade symptoms? Alright, we'll pick that up. Evolved crystalline dust, sure enough. For more traits. Okay. Creeping cough. The infected, co would, the infected would cough crystal dust into the air. Why would? Will? In uh, increasing the urban transmission biological approach. Or gray skin. The infected... Uh, be why am I having trouble reading this today? I know it's early in the morning, but even so. Humans infected by the crystal would undergo transformation, resulting in some parts of the skin hardening and becoming gray. The environment approach. I think we're going to go for the biological approach, so we'll worry about that later. For our abilities, we do have cold, heat, and drug resistance. We also have unstable resonance, significantly boosting the spreading speed of crystalline aberration for a short period of time, increasing severity. 
Exploding Undoing detonates. The crystal and aberrations produce crystal dust that are able to cross the ocean. So basically, a very small amount of uh, our spore bursts are available to us. Yeah, the UK does start off as urban, so a lot of urban transmission can be pretty good. Uh, let's go for the urban infectivity. We have a lot more options here right now. Fizz Seal Contact. So this is going to be Fomites. Zoonotic Shifts. Okay, rural and cross-border transmission. Usually would be more of a cross-species transmission, but okay. Water Traveling. Detached Structures for Air Travel. Crystalline Wheat. The miller has started planting wheat infected by the crystalline corruption. These, that, that's not it. That's not approved by Monsanto. What are you doing? These wheat are being shipped around the world via ships. Also, Crystalline Rose. The miller has started planting roses infected by crystalline corruption. Aw, Crystal Rose? That sounds pretty good. That actually sounds like a really good band name now that I think about it. Crystal Rose. I like it. These roses are being shipped around the world via planes. So it's more water and air transmission. Okay. Befouling Tint. Aberrations are increasing in size while spreading particles in their surroundings, which increases attention. Increase urban infectivity and mutation chance. Also, a tiny little bit of severity. Let's go for the creeping cough. Blue blood. Crystal dust begins to fuse with the red blood cells, making the crystallization progress faster. Internal hardening. Organs harden, causing breathing problems and decreased mobility, while crystal dusts inside the body begins to grow into shards, which I would imagine are incredibly painful. Unknown science substance discovered. Doctors around the world has this... Doctors around the world has, plural singular, discovered an unknown dust inside patient's system. It is believed said dust would cause the infected to have a variety of incomprehensible symptoms. The origin of the dust has yet to be discovered. Probably the giant flash of light and massive boom that occurred in England. Usually, people get really excited about a meteor hitting the Earth. But in this world, we apparently do not care. All right, 10 points. We could go for something else. I don't want to reduce my infectivity. That sounds terrible. Blue blood would be okay. I guess we're going to go for the fizz seal contact for the uh, urban transmission even further. The, s the easier it is to spread around in the UK, the faster the better, because it is a wealthy country, which means it has a good amount of drugs. The NHS apparently very inf uh, effective at what it does. So we'll go ahead and make sure we spread that. Also, uh, water transmission usually pretty good in the UK, since it is a humid country. Also, it has two ports. Which, again, is one of the reasons that, for some reason, I thought that it would make a good starting location if you wanted to beat the game in Mega Brutal. Back in my very early and naive days of Plague Inc., back when I was only barely passable, and not the god that I am today. I say that with a little bit of... A little bit of, uh, what am I trying to say? Temerity? Is that the word that I'm looking for? I don't know. It's not entirely true. I don't consider myself to actually be all that good at the game. I still can't beat the freaking, um, mad cow disease at three stars on Mega Brutal. I can't be that good at the game. So, you know, but I'm passable, and I like to think a little bit entertaining. Let's go for the blue blood. Internal hemorrhaging. Sounds like that's lethal. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, oh, we got internal hardening. We have a little bit of lethality kind of early on, which I actually don't know that I want. But you know what? L let's just try it. Let's try it for fun and see if we can actually do all right, even though we have early game lethality. That'll add a little bit of challenge into this, won't it? Let's go for some air transmission. There we go. Good. Spread to India. Spread to South Africa. Spread across the old British Empire to the British Raj. South Africa. I'm sure they'll love to see you again. Social behavior adaptation. Crystal dust has adapted human social behaviors and will now gather at the hands of the infected, severely increasing the urban transmission. I mean, at some point, we don't really need more urban transmission. We will go for the zoonotic shift, though. And you know what? We'll also go for the crystalline rose for the world via planes. Farmhands. The infected crystalline humans have joined the miller to plant and harvest crystalline crops. I like that the miller is actually a central part of this scenario. You know, it's just kind of fun. Uh, if you guys haven't played Darkest Dungeon in the newest expansion, by the way, it is actually pretty good. I think that it's interesting that they decided to add in a, a, a kind of an option to start playing the endless mode kind of right off the get-go if you want to hire up the uh, the mercenaries. So it's just kind of, a, if, if you haven't played Darkest Dungeon, don't worry, you don't have to have beaten the game in order to access the new content. They're trying to make it accessible pretty early on, which is always appreciated. So both of these are very lethal, which I don't want at the moment. Instead, we're going to go for some heat resistance and drug resistance. I'm kind of holding on to these spore bursts. But maybe we don't have to. We just have gotten kind of a terrible spread at this stage of the game. It's really not that impressive. Um, we're not spreading across land borders very well. Defense mechanism. Captured crystal dust would cease any behavior under lab environment, which makes researching harder. 
I'm sure that's quite good, but instead we're going to go for the heat resistance. The UK does start off as a cold nation. I think a lot of people forget that. Mainly because it's rainy and cloudy and depressing all the time. But, whoa, 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 okay. A lot of bubbles all of a sudden. But, yes, heat transmission would probably be very intelligent, and it would behoove us to take that precaution. Let's go for a little bit more drug resistance as well. Uh, okay, so for transmissions, we could go for... I'm gonna go for the farmhands. Let's try it. Farmhands, foreman. Several farmhand has been chosen as supervisors of the farmstead, making farming more efficient, increasing the sea and air transmission, and the plow horse. Ah, yes. My least favorite of the villains there. Crystalline horses have joined the ranks of the, far farm, uh, the farmstead workforce. Again, for some reason, I can't speak today, and I'm not sure why. Am I having a seizure? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I am. Call the doctor. All right. Unstable resonance. Let's do it. Does not unlock anything new. Okay. Exploding undoing. Oh, wow. It actually hits a lot of countries. I thought it would hit like one. It's a bunch. Let's do another one. Oh, that feels pretty good. Let's do another one. Boom. We got into an island. Okay. We're missing Madagascar, the Caribbean. We're missing a few places that I actually really want to get into, so we should save these spore bursts for a minute. Gray skin mutated. Okay. Well, I didn't want to go down a second path, but since that is available, time acceleration. Crystal dust speeds up the process of assimilating the host cells. Okay. Confusion. Reduce cure research. Itching. So it sounds like this one reduces lethality, and this one increases it. I would guess. I would hazard a guess that that's what's going on. I'm going to go for a bit more water transmission. Uh, the unstable residence has ended. The sleeper has reached its limit and stopped boosting the spreader of the crystalline corruption. Was that a thing that I did? That was this thing, right? Yeah. Oh, for it was a short time. Oh! Oh! I didn't actually read that very well. I just looked at the stat change. Okay. Apparently that actually was going around and helping to spread us around a little bit more effectively. So we're missing the Baltic States in New Guinea. I say we just go ahead and pick up the last explosion. And that should finish them off. Now we can go for things like lethality, especially if there was some corpse transmission. But let's go for internal hemorrhaging and organ crystallization. That leads to the crystalline fusion. Crystallized humans would now become aberrations as well. They would approach a crowd of people and burst into shards. It's like farting in public, but way worse. Let's go for the evolved crystalline dust. Hidden corruption. Crystal dust studied by the host body and transformed the less crucial body parts first, less likely to be noticed a little bit late. Cognitive crystalline dust. The crystal dust has now gained intelligence and could communicate with the sleeper via telepathy. Unlocks advanced transmission options. Corpse transmission, please. Nothing. Social behavior? No. Befouling tint. Ceaseless expansion. Ah, there we go. Aberrations has groaning into gigantic sizes, which attracts a lot of attention. Increase urban infectivity mutation chance. Unlocks the sleeper awakens. Ooh, lots of colors. Unstable Eternal Blossom. Okay, red shards. Pestilential Eternal Blossom. Green shards. So these are different colored crystals in the expansion. Tra traumatic Eternal Blossom. The black shards. Purple shards. The temporal. Uh, unable to perform complex tasks. And adamantite. Guardian. Mutated aberrations erase their trace via time-space distortion. Harder to detect. Again... Too little, too late. We'll go for the ethereal dust. This unlocks environmental understanding. Unlocks the endless harvest. Okay, there are actually some late game things that I kind of want to explore, and I may not be able to see them all. Confusion has mutated for free. Okay, let's go for this. Uh, so we have endless harvest. What's that? The sleeper awakens. Ow! Oh, I probably should have done that sooner. I didn't even notice this one. I assumed that this was the sleeper stuff, but it's the crystal stuff. The sleeper awakens, has finally awakened from its slumber, will twist the reality to its preference, unlock powerful abilities. The cure is now 25% done. Why are you giving me a pop-up? I don't care. I don't care about that. Refraction mutated. Well, that's all well and good, but I want lethality for the extra DNA. Let's go for the sleeper awakens. Okay, it's done. Abilities. What do we get? Ooh! All right. Unstoppable madness. Crystal aberrations would grow from people who previously died from the crystal sickness. Enable corpse transmission. That's what I want. Reality bend. Crystal dust ignores the boundary of time and space. They can freely warp to anywhere in the world. Massively increase the ship transmissions and so on. Sleeper's agent for the wealthy and the poor countries. Time manipulation. Stop time in all cure facilities. Wow. Cure forever halted. That's powerful. The sleeper stirs. Extends its tendrils and infect everything they touch with crystalline corruption. Which I don't know what that does. Looks like a lot of lethality. Unspeakable horror. 
The sleeper shares the horrifying knowledge it knew to the whole world by telepathy, causing mental breakdowns and maybe lethal, which is very fitting. Very fitting, of course, for a uh, Lovecraft kind of themed scenario, which is what the Darkest Dungeon is. The unspeakable horrors that uh, humanity cannot possibly comprehend and it shatters us even trying to contemplate it. Yeah, that's that's basically what this is. Awaken, young one. Awaken, my child, and embrace th uh, the glory that is your birthright, or whatever the first lines are of the Zerg campaign in StarCraft 1. The sleeper has risen from its slumber. Now it's time to dominate this pitiful planet. Who else is missing? Madagascar isn't dead yet. We'll fix that. Let's go for the sleeper stirs. Extend your tendrils and destroy humanity. Though I kind of thought we wanted to just, like, turn everyone into crystal aberrations, but looks like we are remarkably good at killing people. Let's go for the unspeakable horror, and we're going to do time manipulation and stop that cure. The horror! The sleeper has shared some terrifying knowledge to everyone around the world using telepathy. Drastically decrease the public order around the world. Oh my god, say goodbye to the cure. It's completely reversing itself. No cure research can be continued. Cyan dust research facilities around the world have been covered with an eerie sphere. Apparently, the time inside the sphere is forever stopped. What can humanity do if there is no way to combat this illness? Nothing but die! No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Let's see what instinct override leads to. I'm curious. This leads to biological understanding. Unlocks thing from the stars. There's even more stuff that I haven't touched! Okay, I kind of like that, actually. I like that there's enough customization here that's kind of late game that you really can't just experience absolutely everything. We already have Husk, apparently, by the way. Endless Harvest. There it is. Covers the whole world within its sphere, time and space, forever distorted. We're not going to get to experience all the late game content, but this is actually pretty good. I really like the amount of customization that was added into this. I feel like this has been a long scenario simply because I've had to talk so darn much. Because there's so much content. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I like the theme, certainly. Um, your grammar mistakes are perfectly understandable for somebody who is uh, not uh, native to English, the English language, so no problems there. 596 days is a little bit long, but I'm okay with that so long as the DNA generation is relatively well balanced, so you can explore as much content as possible. We weren't really at any risk of losing the scenario. I would say that some of the uh, Sleeper Awakens uh, traits might be a little overly powerful and might actually be... A hindrance to the scenario because they encourage you to go for the really OP stuff rather than continue to explore some of your late game content like the Endless Harvest, like the Thing from the Stars. So do keep that in mind. If you're going to have a lot of that late game content and you want people to explore it, you don't want to give them incredibly overpowered options that they feel like they have to pick every time. You want to encourage them to spend their points in those trees to experience your content. That's how you get a more well-rounded experience, but that's just my opinion. All right, two stars, 44,000 points. All in all, yeah, I think it's a pretty good scenario. I think it could use a little bit of tweaking, but overall, I think it's got a really good start. And of course, anything Darkest Dungeon themed is always going to get a thumbs up from me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.